Hello students, welcome back. So in the previous classes we have discussed about the uh, different types of the uh, chromosomes and also based on the position of the centromere, how these chromosomes have been uh, separated and also like we have seen acrocentric and also metacentric, submetacentric and also telocentric and so many other different types also we have seen, right? So now uh, we will talk about the uh, the different natures of the chromosomes, how the shapes will be uh, and also size of the chromosomes, size and shapes of the chromosomes. Size of the chromosomes greatly vary uh, during the cell cycle. Cell cycle means it is like a mitosis process and also meiosis process. As you, as you go for the further classes students, you will learn what is mitosis and meiosis and in detail structure also. Mitosis and meiosis are the divisions taken place by the cell okay why they need to divide because when we are growing day by day so that is all because of the uh, nature of the cell and also the seed divisions how it is choosing see in our body daily mitosis process is undergoing and meiosis when it undergoes during the embryonic formation so like that every cell is having ability of forming the mitosis as well as the meiosis process so first of all we will learn we will come to know what is interface it forms a long thread like structure called as a chromatin so it is just what happened in a cell uh, inside the nucleus the chromatin structures are just varying like that okay so that is interface then what happens after that so the uh, later on it undergoes the metaphase anaphase telophase like that right so chromosomes are thickest and shorter and also therefore have the definite shape and size at this stage, metaphase stage. At this stage, chromosomes can be counted easily. So in this stage, metaphase stage, count chromosomes are easily counted also. Next is anaphase. In this anaphase stage, they have the rod like J-shaped or V-shaped structures during this phase like this. Okay, next telophase, they have the thread like structures also. As you go further, as you see here, this is prophase, okay students, and also this is metaphase. And see, prophase is what happened, just the nucleus and the nuclear membrane and also chromosomes are just about to separate only. So here in the metaphase, almost the chromosomes are pulled towards the polar regions like this, we call it as an polar. In this direction, they are pulled by the spindle fiber. So they are the spindle fibers which are pulling out. Next, as you go through the anaphase, already the separation has been taken place here. See, have a look at this. These chromosomes have been separated here. Here one chromosome and here one more chromosome. And next, in the telophase, automatically, each pair of the chromosomes are gaining the nuclear membrane. So, as you see, this is a nuclear membrane. Again, the chromosomes are structures like this. And then the cytoplasm later on cytokinesis process is taking place where cytoplasm also is getting separated like this and slowly two cells are divided. So this is a stage where it is undergoing the, in the mitosis processes. Understood students? I hope you understood. So how many stages are there? First one is prophase, second one is metaphase, third one is anaphase and fourth one is telophase. And the final one is the cytokinesis, how it is undergoing the division. So this is how the size and the shape of the chromosomes will be varying. Next, number of chromosomes. How many number of the chromosomes are present here? Each species has a fixed number of the chromosomes in its cell. That is fixed number. There won't be any addition or deletion until unless it is undergoing the mutation. In case of the human beings, there are 46 number of the chromosomes in each body cell. So in the cell, in the cell, this is imagine this is a cell. In a cell inside the nucle inside the nucleus, how many chromosomes are there? There are 46 chromosomes are there, which are present in the form of a 23 pairs of the chromosomes. 23 pairs are present. Okay, and 46 chromosomes in an ordinary human cell are 23 different types are present. Have a look at this. Human body cells have 40 chromosomes and also in the form of a 23 pairs. Have a look at this maternal and paternal parents body and also how they are dividing in each and everything, right? So their shape, size also you see 11th chromosome and 10th chromosome, 12th chromosome, 23rd chromosome. As you can see, there is a slight variation 
because 23rd chromosome is making the differences that is 22 pairs will be present at the when you come to the 23rd it will be considered as a x and y or x and x so if it is x and x uh, if a 23rd pair if it is x and x then it is going to become the female if it is x and y then it is going to become the male so like this male and female uh, sex organs can be differentiated so that is based on the number of chromosomes so there are two uh, there are two chromosomes of each kind the two chromosomes of each kind are called as an homologous chromosomes if they are present in each cell then it is called as uh, homologous chromosomes so homologous chromosomes can be differentiated into like this see homologous chromosomes during the replication based on the centromere they are just if they are having the same kind same color of the chromosome is appearing sister chromatids see same pink color same green color you can like so why the color is showing that it means it's just in informing that homologous means same type of the chromosomes are present next if you see have a look at this a cell which has the full number of the chromosomes with two each of kind is called as diploid cell so diploid means see this is a diploid cell the, you can see homologous chromosomes which are present in the diploid and that means two number two number two nucleus in that diploid cell will be in other words diploid cell has two sets of the each type of the chromosome here you can see the the first set here and also second set this is a violet color and this is a red color so two sets we considered as a diploid so the gametes are sex cells of the human being are different from their other body cells because they contain only half the number of the chromosomes so that is the difference between the diploid and haploid i have a look at the students diploid cell two couples of each chromosomes that is so three pairs of the homologous chromosomes of the maternal and paternal origin also will be arising and a haploid one copy of the each chromosome that is two non-homologous chromosome these are non-homologous non homologous means same color should appear but what is the what what the what we are seeing this is a pink and also blue and also green color we are seeing now so they these are all considered as an heterologous chromosomes right students i hope you understood what is the difference between the homologous and also heterologous and also difference between the diploid as well as the haploid and also and uh, two sets of the chromosomes and number of the chromosomes and uh, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, all the stages of the chromosomes also we have been discussed, right? Now, uh, when we are talking about the homologous and heterologous, have a look at this. A, a cell which has the half the number of the number of the chromosomes with one of each kind is called a haploid cell. So, this is one of each kind. This is only we considered as a haploid. Haploid number also n, n will be indicated. Next, in other words, a haploid cell has only one set of each type of the chromosomes. Example, sperm and eggs have only 23 chromosomes each. So, that means they have the sperm and egg. Egg is also having the haploid number of four cells and also sperm is also having the haploid number of the chromosomes. When they come in together, diploid is going to become. Then, then, then that situation we are going to call it as an Zygote. Zygote become an embryo, embryo become a fetus, fetus become a baby. So like this the condition will changes, uh, which is how the number of the chromosomes of the other body cells. Have a look at this, how applied and also deploy two copies of the each chromosomes. As you see same, same color, same little bit variations. Three pairs of homologous chromosomes of maternal and also paternal virgin can be seen here. I hope you are understanding students right. Next, so the gamete is a haploid cell. Okay, females consist of the two similar gametes and therefore called as a homogametic and also male consist of dissimilar gametes and therefore called as heterogametic. Have a look at the students and uh, male are consisting of the dissimilar gametes. Okay, dissimilar. So that is we, that is why we call it as an heterogametic. And this is a sperm. As you look at the sperm, uh, these sperms are little bit dissimilar in size. As you look at the ovum, they are similar in shape and similar in structure. So that is why we call as an uh, homogametic. This is homogametic ovum, female body, and uh, this is considered as a dissimilar, and this is considered as an 
heterogametic also we consider heterogametic and this is called as homogametic have a look at this form structure it look like a snake but it is microscopic structure that is why you feel like that but when you look at this is microscopic no we can't able to see it and with the help of a tail it is able to move from the vagina to the ovum and the ovum cannot move until unless uh, there is an fertilization or if there is a menstrual cycle cytoplasm is there and also zona pellucida and also nucleus and also the sperm is coming in contact with this so that fertilization will take place so this is how the fertilization and also chromosome nature and also the structures will be vary so i hope you understood students in this session we have discussed about the chromosomes and also shape and size of the chromosome during mitosis on the prophase metaphase anaphase telophase and also we discussed homo homogametic and also heterogametic and also homologous and also heterologous also we have seen and also we have seen the different types of the shapes of the chromosomes uh, and also uh, haploid paternal and also maternal chromosomes also we have seen so this is how the the situation takes place in the different organisms and the humans having the 23 pairs and also we call the 46 chromosome 23 from the mother 23 from the father so like this the variations also will take place students i hope you understand right so sizes and also shapes of the chromosomes so thank you students thank you uh, have a nice day